There's something really funny you can do with the Neo Robot Low Orbit Iron Cannon Ivy just added. You can customize the delay. So what I noticed, if you get in somehow, and you manage to get a concussive blast off, and then not the eyeing to the right, but like anywhere else, doesn't really matter. Then you can do the funny, you can just put this cannon up, put it exactly to 57. Do the command grab after, which is true, and should have a hard knockdown. But, you can see, they can't really die out of it. And this does 5 hits for all this damage. And, you're free to combo after, you can just jump up. And, I don't know, use your jetpack and just shoot and continue your combo. Here's another funny thing. Try and catch the air grab, the anti-air grab. If the enemies are DIing in a bad way, you can do it multiple times. So, for example, uh, let's say they're de not DIing at all. You can maybe combo once after, but this is only if you start with it, right? But cool thing is, let's say they're for some reason DIing to the left here. They're landing so close, you can do it again and again. So, never DI into the robot, because this is just hilarious. See, if you DI away, obviously you can't catch it anymore. Now here's something that I noticed about Robot that is also incredibly strong, he can do. Alright, let's say you got in. Um, you want to follow up on your move, right? You jump in, like every other character. Not a question, where do you DI? So, normal characters have like their moves, they have their moves flipped. Wizard has them with fast fall and hover. But this character takes it to a whole new level. So every move can be... Let's count it, right? Normal, one. Flipped, two. Flying bottom left, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Flipped, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And without jetpack, 17. So every move, every aerial this character has, has 17 different versions of it. And a lot connect. Look, flipped optical beam fly up hits. As well as maybe not flipped optical beam also up. Right, so trying to DI against this character is incredibly difficult right now. I suggest there needs to be something done about the timer. Because, uh, yeah, you're going to run out of your timer. So especially if you use the like 30 second standard timer that the game kind of uses. Um, yeah, this character kind of right now, in my opinion, breaks how the timing works. And you will be able to catch off enemy, catch enemies with move. Moves they did not see whatsoever. Just because they didn't have time to check all of them. You know that moment when you both face off each other and grab just kind of beats every option and the only thing you can do is, well, grab back or do some move that goes over grab, right? Like this. But most of the time, you kind of have to grab tech, both of you, because it's the best option most of the time. Well, fear not. 
Bounce check is a command grab that has grab invincibility. So, it goes through most moves that it's faster. But if everybody thinks that grab grab and grab tag is the only solution now, this character kind of throws this whole thing upside down. Not only that, but also does this. 